Hi. <laughs> so, um, if you guys don't already know by now, there was a situation that um, took place a couple days ago. And, you know, I just wanted to take my time to process my emotions and process what it is I wanted to do about this. Um, I'm just going to talk about the situation now, just so the information is out there and whoever can learn from it can learn from it. Um, it's unfortunate because I really do respect this artist and I really do respect this camp, but I think the way things happen with this project just didn't sit well with me. So long story short, um, I worked on the Shekere video, uh, which is Yemi Alade featuring Angelique Kijo. Um, the video was shot both in New York City and Kenya. And for the New York City side, I handled the choreography and Tribe hired the dancers. Um, I did this as a favor to her camp. And I say it's a favor because yes, we did get paid and the dancers, let me specify, the dancers did get paid. However, it was for a discounted, a way discounted price, which I agreed to. So I would take responsibility for that. However, the agreed upon terms based off of that price were not met. Meaning for the price that was given to each dancer, I said we can do a maximum of four hours on set. And we ended up spending 12 plus hours on that set. During the same shoot, a dancer fell on their head during a backflip and was rushed to the hospital. Cool? So I say all of this not to say like it's their fault that this happened. However, I'm just saying that even through all of the wahala that was taking place during the shoot, we still kept going for this artist. Cool. When the video drops, this was about three days ago, when the video dropped, I watched it and I saw that at the end, special thanks or credit was given to just the people in Kenya. From the art director to the executive producer to the person who holds the grips and lights to it saying choreography by listing the agency, um, listing the, the number of dancers, the name of dancers, etc., etc. So to me, this is a credits page. It's a credits page because if I watch this video and I look at that end page, I'm going to think the choreography and the dancers listed are the people in the video 100% of the time. Cool. So when I reach out to her manager, I say, hey, um, boss, I watched the video. Looks amazing. I just see that credit hasn't been given to me and we worked on this project. He goes on to say, okay, it's the director's fault. Um, if anything was omitted, it wasn't on purpose. Um, I will go fix it. Uh, we'll go fix the video. So me, I say, realistically, it's not like you guys are gonna take this video down, edit it and put it back, especially with a global release like this. That's not realistic. So I say, okay, instead, here's a solution. Just give us social media credit. This is around 9 a.m. Going towards three now, I am not, I've not heard anything from him. I've not seen any edits on the captions of posts that are promoting this um, music video. So I reach out to Yemi directly and I say, hey, mama, I've seen the video. It's amazing. However, credit wasn't given to us. Was good. There's no update. She says, and I'll just summarize to the part. She says, Credit was only given to, well, first, first she says, oh, um, there were a lot of things omitted. Credit was only given to people who did this for free. So to me, I'm like, I'm, I'm confused. Are you saying that what I, I, how I registered it is like, okay, so you're saying that the people who made this project a possibility to you who put in the most effort and made this project a possibility for free are the people that deserve credit or special thanks. And to me, that didn't sit well. Cause like that was a slap in the face. Like, Oh, we spent 12 plus hours with you. The dancer could have literally ruptured his spinal cord, ended his whole dance career at your shoot. And we still kept going after that happened. And that's not enough for you to give us special thanks. 
And she's like, Izzy, haba. Don't worry, haba. And to me, it's like, you're making it seem like I am crazy or angry or stupid or childish to even be this upset about something that I clearly deserve. Fast forward that. The next day, the manager calls me and starts to say, why would you reach out to Yemi? You need to be more patient. You need to be more grateful. Even I am doing this out of the kindness of my heart to even go and get this fixed. Out of the kindness of your heart. How is you giving me credit for something I worked on? A privilege. If you decided not to give credit to anybody, that won't be an issue. But the moment you decided to do a special thanks or a credit page, you credit everybody. Because everyone watching that video assumes choreography is by dot, 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 dot. If a client were to see that and says, oh, I want to hire the choreographer for this project, you're going to hire someone from Kenya. That's not the complete story. That's not the complete story. So you saying that to me was another slap in the face. Oh, Izzy, let me tell you something. You need to work on your communication if you're going to work in this industry. And it's like he's not saying this out of anger like, oh, oh, uh, I'm telling you this out of anger. He's, he's literally saying this. You know, like when your brother gives you advice, he's like, I'm actually doing this for your your the betterment of you because this is how literally people think within this industry like you're supposed to just shut up why i'm making this video to explain this is because i can see how easily people can fall into this cycle especially if you have nothing going for you as a dancer right if you don't have a brand if let's say your income is just based off of working with the artist i can see the things that people do say these different camps do and say to dancers that can keep them so hushed and so on the low when they are disrespected that they fall into the cycle that 10, 15 years from now, you're still waiting for that artist to blow and give you your opportunity. This makes absolutely no sense. At the end of the day, this is much more than just me. If it was just me in the video, cool, great. But I hired 10 dancers, actually had to pay even more dancers because you guys and your team went and hired extra dancers outside of the dancers that my agency provided. And I had to end up paying them my money. Because having someone's child sit at a set for 12 plus hours for chicken change. And then turn around and say, oh, no, we're only giving credit to people who did it for free to make this project a possibility. It's disrespectful. They have every choice and every right to do whatever it is they wanna do with their content, just like I have every right to do what I wanna do. So I hope whoever hears this and whoever is in this predicament Please do not believe anything that these camps say. I did this as a favor because I believed that people, like people's word was, was bond. Like people had enough decency and respect to do the right thing and I was wrong. When a, a camp hires you to be a choreographer or come in on a project, you are not their employee. You're not part of their camp. You're not part of their label or whatever. You are a contracted talent. Therefore, the two things you should not waver on is your value, your money, and your credit. And you have every right, every right, every right to ask for credit or to ask for your value. And if any of that is changed or manipulated without your consent, you have every right to wall out. And if we're being really realistic about this, if this was a commercial job and a dancer got hurt on a set where there's no insurance or hazard pay, I would sue your ass. So please, moving forward, just learn from this. Even if this gig or whatever gig you decide to do 
is 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 agreed on informally always slap a contract on it and that was just something that i decided not to do and i'll take the l for that on this one because i expected more treat every gig with artists you work with as the last one you're going to do with them no matter how much they say oh don't worry when i blow i will help you when i do this i will help don't don't believe it treat it like the last so ask for the money that you want Ask for the credit that you want and you keep it pushing. Peace.